be home to the Robert E. Lee statue in Dallas, but that park now may have a new name and it may come as early as tomorrow. Andrea Lucia live ahead of that possible announcement tonight. Andrea? Yeah, the park board is set to meet in a special session tomorrow morning to vote on a proposal that would revert this space back to its original name, Oaklawn Park. If approved, the measure would temporarily lift a six year long moratorium the city has had on naming parks. With the park's namesake statue gone, Park Board Chairman Bobby Abtahi told CBS 11 the time is right to change the park's name too. Dating back to the 1890s, it was known as Oaklawn Park. The city renamed it Robert E. Lee Park after the statue's arrival in 1936. The park board is poised to approve up to $40,000 to return to the original name. The biggest expense, Abtahi says, would be changing the granite stone out front. The Conservancy overseeing the park in a statement today thanked city leadership for moving forward to restore the park's name. The Conservancy is ready to begin planning for the future and talking to our neighbors about the vacant space left after the statue's departure, said President Gay Donnell. For now, the Oaklawn Park name would technically be a placeholder until the city adopts a new policy for approving park names, something Abtahi expects will happen by the end of the year. Hey, it's not clear how quickly the city would move to either change or remove the signs out here. Chairman of Tahi says that would complete, be completely up to the city staff. We did, by the way, try to talk to people out here today uh, and get their opinions on this, but most told us they did not want to weigh in publicly on such a heated issue. Reporting live in Dallas, Andrea Lucia, CBS 11 News.